salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to share with you five of the most hyped fragrances in the fragrance community and kind of rank them and tell you what i think of them and if i think they deserve the hype or not so let's get into the video i chose fragrances from my collection and i chose from those the ones that i perceive to be the most hyped in the community now i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on the fragrance if i think it's deserving of the hype and generally just if i think they're good scents or not that's me talking about the scent obviously i'm talking in circles the first one we're going to talk about is obviously probably the most talked about fragrance ever in the fragrance community and it's aventus and you see i own a bottle of aventus i love aventus i prefer to wear aventus over aventus for her this is one of the most polarizing scents in the community. Not that it's polarizing because of the scent, but it's polarizing because of the love and hype around the scent. Uh, there's a lot of debate on batches. <laughs> there's so much just energy around Aventus. I would say that this fragrance on my skin smells amazing. It is one of my most complimented fragrances when I wear it. I do get a lot of unsolicited compliments from guys who I think are kind of confused as to why I smell like a guy, but it's fine. You can wear whatever you want, whatever makes you happy and feel confident. But it just is a good scent. I can understand the mass appeal around Aventus. It does smell really good. It is a very complimentary, empowering scent. And it is unique enough with that pineapple birch twist to smell different. And I think just because it's from the House of Creed, people are just really excited for that too. People love Creed or hate Creed. But generally overall, I think Aventus is deserving of the love that it gets. I don't know if I completely agree with all the hype, but I can understand the hype around Aventus. Now, another fragrance that is super hyped in the community, and I wouldn't say has taken over the Aventus spot, but is very controversial right now um, in regards to people liking the scent, people not liking the scent, it is polarizing to some degree, is Baccarat Rouge. This fragrance has definitely really gotten a lot of people into uh, Francis Corjean's house, a lot of people into niche and luxury perfumery. It's been kind of a gateway fragrance for a lot of people like Aventus was. And I find that this smell is really unique and beautiful and sweet and just very unique. But at the same time, like not a lot of people like that composition of that kind of like stickingly sweet, um, kind of salty vibe that it has, but it definitely grabs attention. This, out of all the fragrances on this list, is my favorite. Um, I do absolutely love Baccarat Rouge. I have the hair mist, I have the body oil, I have body lotions, I've got the extrait, I've got the um, Eau de Parfum, this one right here. I love Baccarat Rouge, like I'm obsessed with it. So I definitely am one of the lovers and the hype masters for that fragrance. But generally overall, I can understand the hype of this scent. Not only does it smell different, but it smells, it definitely picks like you can grab it, like you can smell it in a crowd. It definitely is one of those fragrances. And I think for people looking for like a very loud attention grabbing fragrance, this scent is great. It's very sexy, it's very sweet, and I think a lot of people like to smell like this. But a lot of people also think that it's way overhyped and smells really cheap, so I can understand that too. But this is definitely one where I can see the mass appeal for it and the hype within the community. This one is part of a house that a lot of people really like, but not a lot of people have experienced, and I definitely think that more people need to experience this house because I do love them very much and it's Initio, and this is Oud for Greatness. This fragrance came out, and so many people were so excited for it because this became one of those really unique wearable Ouds. Like, it's got lavender, it's got saffron, it's got that beautiful woody note. It was like the perfect blend of wearable woody aromatic and that unique kind of stankiness that Oud can have. And it's just, it's a really spectacular scent and a lot of people celebrated it as a masterpiece and really gravitated towards this scent. And it's one that I can understand the love for. It's a great, it's a really great introductory Oud scent if you wanna start getting into really powerful Ouds. It's a little bit harder to wear in regards it does have that kind of like skanky element that it has but it's pared down enough to where it's really wearable so it kind of is a great kind of in-between scent that you can wear to really start getting into there's more powerful oud dominant scents 
smells really good, has great performance. I can definitely see the appeal with Oud for greatness. Now there's a lot of fragrances from this house that could easily be a part of this list, but I'm gonna talk about again the one that I have in my collection, which is Rose 31 from Le Labo. Now obviously Bergamot and Santal could also be a part of this list, but I wanna talk about Rose 31 because a, it's the one I have in my list, and B, this is one that I've always just very much gravitated towards. It's one of those rose scents that if you're looking for a masculine rose fragrance, uh, definitely can be a masculine rose fragrance. It's definitely more on the aromatic kind of woody side. It has like that pencil shaving vibes, but at the same time, the rose in here is very predominant and very crystal clear and almost kind of green. It's a really beautiful scent and I love it. Now, I don't agree with a lot of Olabo's fragrances being hyped, except for some of the city exclusives. I think that their fragrances are things that I absolutely love. And Santal and Bergamont and also Rose 31 are very hyped in the community or were very hyped in the community. But I think a lot of the love for innovation and something new and hype-worthy scents should be more on the city exclusives. I think that those are more special than the regular line of scents. But I do think Rose 31 is a very solid, strong fragrance, and I do really love so, it. So the last one to talk about before I go into my ranking is from Replica. This is By the Fireplace. This one gets talked about so much by so many people, and it smells so dang good. It smells nutty and warm and sexy and spiced. It's just, it's such a beautiful kind of like fall cool weather scent. You can layer it with a lot of different things. It just works really well on the skin. It smells really neat, unique. And I love that kind of like smoky, nutty undertone that this fragrance takes on. It's really unique, it's really special, and it's definitely, definitely worth the hype. So now I'm going to rank these five fragrances um, from the fragrance that I think is least deserving of a hype to most deserving. Obviously, Rose 31 from La Labo is number five, last in this list. It's not that it isn't worthy of being hyped. I just think that there's other fragrances from La Labo, um, even besides Sintal and Bergamot, which are two others that are definitely beloved. I think that the city exclusives are more deserving of hype and love than the regular lineup of La Labo. They are good, strong fragrances and they smell amazing, but the amount of attention that they get, I'm somewhat like, I don't always agree with, even though I do love the scent so much. Um, for the hype and the love and the kind of fanaticism that surrounds them, there's other fragrances from the house that I think are more deserving. Number four is Oud for Greatness. Now, I do find this one to be really spectacular. Again, it's a great introductory Oud if you wanna get into those more challenging Oudy, Oudy fragrances. This is a great one to try. It's a solid fragrance. It's definitely worth the price point. The presentation's really nice. It's an overall really positive experience. The reason why that one's lower on my list because the last three, I believe, are more deserving of the hype love. Number three is Creed Aventus. Now, the reason why this one isn't higher is because the crazy amount of hype around this scent is insane and I don't know if it's completely justified. So I think that this one definitely is deserving of a lot of love and appreciation and fanaticism, but not the crazy level of fanaticism at least had a few years ago. Number two is By the Fireplace. I think this one is a just a staple in the community. Not a lot of people really know about it, but the people that love it are diehard lovers of this scent. And it has definitely changed a lot of minds when it comes down to fragrance. I think this is beautiful, nutty, aromatic. It's unique enough to where it definitely stands out. It has beautiful performance and overall, it's just a pleasant experience. So the people that love this, I think are very justified in their love and their fanaticism. It might not be as crazy as Aventus, but I also think that it's more deserving of Aventus when it comes down to the amount of people that really like it. And last, and this is partially personally biased because I absolutely love it, is number one spot deserving of the hype is the uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, a lot of you guys are not going to agree with me and that is fine, this is my opinion piece. But the reason why Baccarat Rouge is here is because not only has it really inspired a lot of people to love perfume, 
It's one of the newer fragrances that has really been a gateway into the luxury and niche market and for people just collecting fragrance. There's been so many people who have tried samples of it, smelled it in passing at places, and has been in their mind and they bought one and then buy another and buy another and buy another. It's really been one of those gateway fragrances and it's unique and different enough to where it's really captured the attention of a lot of people, albeit sometimes positive and negative. Some of the more popular videos out there are talking about Baccarat Rouge, are talking about clones, are talking about whether they love it or hate it. There's definitely a real energy around this fragrance, positive and negative, that I don't see with these other scents, even Aventus. I think that it's really easy to forget um, scents as new fragrances come out, and I think Aventus is always gonna be a classic fragrance that a lot of people are going to love and cherish and collect and chase after those like elusive batch codes. And I think that the people who are diehard Aventus fans will always be diehard Aventus fans, but I think as a fragrance community, new fragrances, new trends, new compositions come out and we get excited. And I think we're in the age of Baccarat Rouge right now. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what unthrones or unsurps Baccarat Rouge. What is gonna be the next fanatical polarizing fragrance where people are like, I don't agree and I definitely agree. Like that kind of level of fanaticism is what I'm looking for. And currently it's Baccarat Rouge and just the way it smells and the way it performs and the kind of impact it's had on the community. I think it's definitely deserving of the top rank for the most hyped fragrance worthy of that spot. So that is this list. Hi, I hope you liked this video. I would love to know what fragrances, um, if you agree with this list, do you agree with this number? I would love to know what you guys think. You can also let me know in the comment section below other hype fragrances that you think are worth it or not worth it. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.